the, the stop motion thing, I, I didn't I didn't get into animation until I was already taking college classes. I was doing sculpture, photography, uh, a lot of painting and drawing, and um, I found that I was starting to do uh, things in series, like one photograph was, wouldn't make me happy. I would tell a little story with a series of photographs, and then I once made this sculpture, and I didn't like the pose, so I put joints. It was a full-size human. I put joints in its arms and legs so I could change the pose when I felt like it. Um, finally, I saw some actually experimental animation, and I realized everything I love, I was also a musician, and, and that was sort of my second choice. Everything I love comes together in animation. Uh, so that's what, you know, all my hobbies came together. It took a long time to get used to how slow it is to make an animated film, but I got, I got used to it. Um, I think the thing that changed, or what led me to the, the, the stop motion was simply, I really like touching things, moving, and the stop motion is very, it's very physical. Um, you know, there's animation, computer, uh, and most drawn. You know, I, I worked at Disney for three and a half years, and I got, sort of tired of sitting at my seat all day long and occasionally having meetings and of course wonderful people and lessons learned but I wanted to move more so the combination of the, the tactile uh, feeling of stop motion actually wrestling with puppets to bring them to life to shift them around and take the pictures uh, that touch and the sense of using your whole body and being around those sets and that culture of stop motion. That's just my favorite world. It's not better than other animation. Not, I, love, I love the other types, but for me, it's just the world I, I found uh, I was happiest in. And as far as the things I've worked on, um, I like the best. I, there, it's really three things. It's, it's the MTVs, because I actually got paid to be creative, which was, you know, a first. Uh, and then Nightmare Before Christmas, which was kind of the first big stop motion feature in, in uh, the United States. And everyone that worked on that with me was from a team I had built. We were all just so happy. Like, we couldn't believe we were getting to make this. You know, Tim's story, his character designs were brilliant. And ultimately, Coraline. Coraline's probably the peak of what I feel I've done. It's, it's um, you know, I wrote the, the script, I had a hand in design, and uh, it, was, it was a powerful book it was based on. I felt that I honored, I honored the book and created another world. And, and one of the main things I like about Coraline is um, she is an ordinary girl. She doesn't have superpowers. She's not a super genius. She's brave and stubborn, and in the end, it allows an ordinary girl to face horrible, terrible evil and, and succeed. Um, so, you know, th those, those are the, the main things that, that you know, I've, I've, I've enjoyed things. In. I did a bunch of commercials, too, that were fun, but those are the ones that stand out in my life. And I hope, I hope to make one more really great film uh, it's not official, but it would be a stop motion um, project. I'll talk more about it later in the week. Anyway, thanks for your question. Thanks for coming today.